U.S. geologists in Afghanistan have discovered minerals that some believe could change the picture for clean energy vehicles in the U.S. Scientists with the U.S. Geological Survey under contract by the Afghan government say that vast quantities of minerals, including lithium, lie under areas of Afghanistan. Lithium is used in batteries and is right now a key component of batteries for hybrids and electric vehicles. Here to talk about what a new source of lithium means for the U.S. energy picture is Charlie Ebinger. He's senior fellow with the Brookings Institution. Charlie, good to see you. Nice to see you, Susan. Let's talk first about where these vast quantities of lithium are located. And we've got a lot in Afghanistan. Uh, a some of, right. Excuse me. Right along here. Afghanistan, Pakistani border, right. which are which are areas in, where the fighting is right now. Some of these areas under Taliban control. So, so how significant is this find? The find is terribly significant because uh, right now the vast resources of lithium in the world are down in Bolivia, a country not terribly uh, hospitable to the United States. There are also some in Peru over in this area, but. Bolivia controls the market, and with the vast reserves of uh, lithium in Afghanistan, this could fuel the electric vehicles we're talking about having in the future as we move to 10, 20, 30 million all-electric cars in addition to the hybrids you mentioned. So this makes the, the U.S. market for electric vehicles and hybrids more promising because Bolivia was the main, we were going to be most dependent on Bolivia, which is not too thrilled about parting with its, uh, w with its lithium for the U.S. That is correct. So now we have Afghanistan, which may end up more friendly, um, but, but this is pretty far into the future because it takes three to five years to start developing this, and there is still fighting. Realistically, I think we're talking a lot more than three to five because in this part of Afghanistan and along the Pakistan border, there are virtually no roads to get minerals out. There's no energy for the mining of them. Uh, I mean, consider in all of Afghanistan, there's like 100 megawatts of electric power. That's like, you know, one-tenth of a nuclear power plant in this country. That's the whole country. So, but looking out that far, do you still see lithium as the mineral? Do you see it needed as much then? I mean, could another mineral? Uh, absolutely. It, it's possible uh, that we could have another mineral for batteries. Uh, but right now, everyone is planning that lithium is going to be the wave of the future for probably 20 to 30 years. Uh, so yes, it's very, very significant, this find. Do you see this changing um, energy policy at all for the U.S.? I think it will aid Mr. Obama to, to say that we need to accelerate this. Uh, I was kind of surprised in his speech he didn't get more specifically last night. But absolutely. This, and, it, uh, and it accelerates the, the momentum behind electrics. Worldwide, not just for the United States, but worldwide. And you look at a market like India, very close to Afghanistan, that has a tremendous growth trajectory for automobiles. This could be a game changer for India potentially for China. So the whole world will benefit if these reserves are really there. And just briefly, it could also hurt the, the possible market and potential for other alternative fuels. I think that's true. Uh, although probably in our country, natural gas vehicles uh, still have some potential, uh, as do advanced biofuels. Maybe there'll be a basket of, of choices. I think there'll be a basket of choices down the road, uh, very different than our situation today. Okay. Charlie Ebinger with the Brookings Institution. Thank you. Thank you.